Welcome back to the Heads Up Show and look at what we have today. I'm going to take a San Francisco 49ers, an LA Rams, the Kansas City Chiefs, and the Bengals helmet. And we're gonna go ahead and just upgrade the hell out of these things. You might have noticed that all of these helmets are not exactly what they wear on the field. They are either flash, eclipse, alternate, or throwbacks. And why not have a little fun, right? So as I build them, I'm gonna talk about what it is that I'm doing with each one. And then when the video is over, we are gonna photograph them and we are gonna list them on our website. So if you're watching this after Saturday, they'll probably already be sold out, but you never know. So if you wanna get your hands on one of these, go to greengridiron.com and get to it. Who's going to the Super Bowl? Who is not only going to the Super Bowl, but who's taking it all? So this Chiefs helmet, I have the 3D bumpers and you'll notice that I kind of went a little wild with the hole punch because this is a replica helmet. So the replica helmets, the shells are just a little smaller than an authentic. And because of that, the uh, holes for the face mask hardware are a little bit closer. The Chiefs are the only team in the NFL that I know of at least that alter their chin straps and they cut them into little tips or I'm imagining arrowheads. So I made sure that we did that. I have the Nike 2.0 blackout visor. This thing is dark. We ordered as many as we could when they first came out and surprise, surprise, they sold out like immediately we will be getting more. And then what I did was I took Under Armour visor clips, the branded white on red, and then I covered the branding with these blank decals we had made a while back. We have them in a few different colors. I think that they're cool because for like two or three bucks, you can buy these and change the entire look of your clip but then also get like a whole two-tone thing going on. And by the way, big, big shout out and congratulations to Nate Rochelle. I think I'm saying that right. He's in Ohio and he's the winner of the $700 custom helmet giveaway that got us to this point. A couple weeks ago, I did a video where all you guys had to do was tell us who is going to be heading to the Super Bowl. And the comments came in like crazy. We are going to be doing more contests. So be sure you keep your eyes peeled. And pay attention to our social media. So check this out. This a pretty awesome improvement. So this is a Kansas City Chiefs Speed Replica flash helmet we have the rear 3d bumper i took the warning label off uh before we started this because it's kind of hard to do red warning label red us flag white hard cut chin strap white face mask hardware white sports star buckles and a white s2bd sp face mask one down three to go what do you think should i do next Rams, okay, let's do Rams. So with the Rams, I am starting off with this really great face mask. This is an HS4 mask, and because it's an HS4 mask, you can put on a Shock Zero G Plus visor, which is really intended to go on a Riddell Speed Flex. But because the HS4 has this kind of indenture, it'll fit. And this is the S2EG SW hs4 1p clear sunset shock zero g visor on there with dark navy blue unbranded under armor visor clips and i'm just going to stick with the clear face mask hardware and you might have noticed that this is a 1981 to i believe 1999 st louis rams helmet um, i figured why not have some fun with it i again took off the warning label put on this nice Green Bay gold yellow with an embossed tech American flag. 
the Los Angeles rear 3D bumper because that's where they are now. And I have this mask dipped in Green Bay gold. I'm putting on a white Sports Star Victory T-Rex Hurricane chin strap with navy blue buckles. A few years ago, I know we bought a whole mess of different colors through Sports Star and you guys really love these colored buckles. We have red coming back soon. They sold out super fast. We work with these teams and because we work with them, we get our hands on the bumpers because we supply them with the bumpers. So if you guys buy a helmet from us, sometimes we will just throw the bumpers on as a gift if we have them. Not all the time. All right, I know that this one was a quick one because I already had the visor attached and everything, but damn, that's a good looking helmet. I know one of our staff members here, Preston, is probably not going to be too happy when we take this and list it because I know that he's going to want this, but that is pretty awesome. All right, we're getting there. Let's get into this Cincinnati Bengals Riddell Speed Authentic Eclipse Helmet. I am shocked we still have one of these. The Eclipse helmets were crazy popular. This one, I kind of got a little carried away with. So we have a black shut hard cup chin strap with white, mm, let's do the white on the lower. I have orange on the upper buckles, an S2B SP face mask that I dipped in our burnt orange, which is just Look at how great that is. I built one of these similar to this a while ago um, when we were doing the whole uh, Eclipse series. And then I have an Oakley Legacy Prism Black visor. This is a nice visor. And I put the orange and white Oakley tabs on there. It's pretty close, but I think it's gonna look awesome. And I did the white and orange buckles because I do have 3D bumpers that are white and to make it seem a little bit more intentional, I think putting the white buckles on will kind of give it that little bit of cohesive look to it. So, um, and like I said before, if you're doing these at home yourself, you can make anything you want. This is just what I chose to do. And I'm using black unbranded Under Armour visor clips. All right, now here's an interesting thing to talk about. So a lot of times we see when you guys buy stuff from our site, we assemble helmets for free if you want us to. Some people don't check the box because you wanna play with them yourself. These Oakley Legacy visors, you know, when there's a mask that's not a single wire and there's two, there is no great way to get it to sit. You're either gonna have a little gap here or you're gonna have a big gap here. It doesn't look terrible once you put the once you put the face mask on the helmet, but it just doesn't look great. You know, there's like that gap there. It's not crazy enough for me to wear like I'm not going to do it, but it's just how it goes. So, if, you know, keep that in mind when you're buying visors for your helmets. So I am using the black face mask hardware that is standard with these Eclipse helmets. See what I mean? Once that's on, it looks nice. I mean, the gap is there, of course, but it kind of goes away. The curvature of these Oakley visors, you know, they're great. They're just a good looking visor. And I think that this came out as good as I hoped. I know that this one's probably the most loud and altered from their original look, but pretty awesome nonetheless. All right, and then last, but certainly not least, here is the 49ers. This is a Speed Authentic, an S2 BD face mask in what we call UCLA Gold. It's one of our favorite powder coat colors. It almost looks 
painted. It's a beautiful color. And take a guess why it's called UCLA Gold. And like the Rams helmet, you might notice, this isn't exactly what the 49ers wear. This is a throwback as well from 1964 to 1995. Reminds me of being a kid watching up, seeing Jerry Rice, Joe Montana, and all these guys. All right. So now this visor fits exceptionally well on this mask. I did put the red Oakley tabs on the top of the visor. Of course, they had none of this stuff in the 60s through 90s, like white sports star chin straps with red buckles and 3D bumpers and all that other good stuff. But I think it just looks too cool to not put it on there. That's a cool helmet too. I mean, I think all of these came out great, but the important thing is, what do you think of these? Which one is your favorite? Not even having to be a fan of these teams, which helmet is your favorite? Which teams are going to the Super Bowl and which team is going to win the Super Bowl? That's what I wanna know. And also one more thing you might've noticed, my awesome new t-shirt. We finally have a second design of a t-shirt now. Uh, we have a third design coming soon. Keep your eye on our website. We have scratch and dent stuff now where you can buy discounted items. We have a lot more things happening on our site every week. So I know you guys are fans of us and we appreciate you so much. If you made it to the end of this video, you're the best. Please don't forget to like and share and subscribe and all that good stuff. And until next time, cheers. Go Chiefs.